Hello again everyone, my name's John, I'm a retired chef from the northeast of England in the UK and welcome to another video. In this one I'll be making these delicious lamb chilli burgers. They're quick and easy to make and they're absolutely delicious. For the ingredients and written recipe there'll be a link at the end of the video to my website recipe page. There'll also be a link in the description box under the video. Okay, before I get started with the recipe, I'd like to give a quick shout out and a big thank you to the people who have kindly supported the channel through Patreon this week. And with this being my first name shout out, there is a few to get through, so you'll have to bear with me for just one minute, and my apologies if I pronounce any of your names wrong. John Harrison, Michael Ray Paisley, Ron Mann, two or more, Terry Uctena, Sebastian Hengel. Jureen, Henry Lawson, Ren Grimm, Kathleen Browning, Michael Hughes, Peter Messenger, Bad Wabbit, Barbara Roth, Cynthia Urban, Anthony Reaney, Mary Jo Dreen and Christian Muller, John Zellner, Pat MacDonald, Terry Jacobs, Lisa Farmer, Shawnee Bigelow, Ruth James, Pear Fredrickson, Donna West, Todd and Jolly Mangayonka, Graham Merrill and Stephen N. Preslin. Carl Tyson, Peter Davidoff, Laura Strunk, David Boyce, Boomer, Don Nelson, Zora Ho, Miss Neon, Cindy Gassaway, John Fox, Michael Cockroft, Randy R. Rausch. And finally, JPV, Suzanne Miller, Sophie Zong and Carlos Garo P. And once again, a great big thank you for all those who are supporting the channel through Patreon. Thank you. Okay, I'll be using my mini processor to chop and mix everything up. But if you haven't got one of these machines, you can always use a knife to chop everything up small. It'll just take a little longer. I'll start by roughly chopping the chilies, garlic and onions. These chilli peppers are pretty hot, but you can use any strength you like. And if you want them a little hotter, just leave the seeds in. Right, I'll add all of the ingredients to the food processor and give them a quick blitz. Don't forget, all of the ingredients and the new written method is now on the recipe page on my website. There's plenty of links to get you there. So please have a look around. There's also various ways on the website where you can post messages and images, either by Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or email. You can also click on the eye icon top right of the screen for more information. This last ingredient is optional. It's a couple of beef stock cubes. It does make the burgers a bit more meaty. When you're using a food processor to finely chop ingredients like this, pulse the machine on and off. This gives the larger pieces time to drop down into the blades. The minced or ground lamb I'm using has a 20% fat content which will keep these burgers moist and juicy. Most of the fat will render out when cooking anyway. Ok, combine the meat with the mixture in a bowl and mix thoroughly. Spend a little time on this part to make sure it's all evenly mixed together.
Okay, once it's all been thoroughly mixed, divide it into four. You can guess the size of each burger, but I like to weigh the whole mixture and divide it into four equal burgers. The total weight of mine is 656 grams, that's 23 ounces, and that works out at each burger weighing 164 grams, which is approximately 6 ounces each. Now just form each ball of meat into a burger shape with your hands as shown and place them onto a lightly oiled plate or tray. You might want to wear gloves for this, not only for hygiene reasons but also if you're using extra hot chilli, the heat takes ages to wash off your hands. As I found out when I took out my contact lenses later that day, as I didn't wear any gloves when I chopped the peppers earlier. And that's what you call a schoolboy error. Right, I'll move over to the cooker and fry these beauties off. I'll start by getting the pan hot on a medium to high heat. First I'll add a little oil just to get them started. Once the burgers are in the pan, I'll turn down the heat to medium and as these are pretty thick, I'll fry the first side for 6 minutes. Ok, that's the first side done. Now I'll turn them over and set the timer for 5 minutes this time. And at this point I'll check that they're cooked on the inside using my thermometer. And the safe target temperature for ground or minced meat is 72 degrees Celsius, that's 162 Fahrenheit. And the reading is showing 73 degrees Celsius so these are done and ready to serve. And if you do use a probe like mine, make sure the point of the probe where the sensor is, is in the middle of the burger and not all the way through touching the pan. That'll just give you a false reading. Right, now I'll get them out and onto a plate, then we'll have a little taste test. Ok, I've got one of my soft dinner rolls ready to try it out. I do have a burger bun video if you want to check that one out. And seeing as these are lamb burgers, I'll get some of my homemade mint sauce on top. And that's all these need. And here I go, straight in for a bite while it's still piping hot. And all I can say is, wow, these are really juicy, meaty, with a great fantastic chilli kick at the end. I hope you give these a go, they really are a fantastic change from the usual beef burger. And as usual, please get the big thumbs up from me. 
and once again, thank you to everyone who is helping keep the channel going through Patreon. And if you would like to support the channel from as little as $2 per month, hit the link at the end of the video or the link in the description box under the video. Well, thank you again for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe by hitting the circle above. If you do subscribe, activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page. And by doing that, you'll be automatically notified every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here's a few of my other videos and playlists that you may want to watch. So, until the next time, be safe in the kitchen and bye for now.